This is not financial advice. This is not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking. See how I'm analyzing the data. Listen. The story about the BBY CFO who jumped off the building or got thrown off the building. The one who allegedly committed suicide. The story gets even crazier. I just found out that he was the subject of a federal class action lawsuit for fraud, breach of fiduciary responsibility, manipulation, and all kind of all sorts of other crimes. And what makes this even crazier is his co-defendant is Ryan Cohen from GME. So this gentleman and Ryan Cohen were named in a federal class action lawsuit for pumping up the value of BBBY in order to make money off the play. We don't know if that's true, if that's what they did, but that's what the lawsuit claims. So for him to allegedly commit suicide, and they're also saying that his wife was actually in the house when the suicide went down. They're saying that when he jumped out the window or was pushed out the window or however else he ended up going out the window, that his wife was actually in the house at the time. So that, that just leads to some, a whole bunch of other questions as far as I'm concerned. But the fact is that he's a defendant in a federal class action lawsuit. His co-defendant is Ryan Cohen from GME. And he just sold, I told you on another video, he just sold a million dollars worth of shares on the 26th, on the 16th rather, on the 16th. So... I mean, there's just so much going on in this play. There's just so much going on that we are not going to get to the truth of the matter probably for months or even years because with the type of money that's involved in this class action lawsuit, it could be going into the billions of dollars. Is that enough of an incentive for somebody to... I don't want to say commit murder, but to, to to make somebody so life so unbearable that they decide they want to take your life? Possibly. Could they have been under threat? Possibly. Who knows? Who knows? But I think it's really, really strange that he's in a class action federal lawsuit for fraud, manipulation with Ryan Cohen, and then he jumps, allegedly, jumps out of a window. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe button, all the YouTube algorithm stuff, and tell me what you think about him being a defendant in a lawsuit with Ryan Cohen, and now he allegedly committed suicide. I mean, the story gets stranger and stranger. Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.